Hi friends, Willis Howell here. I just want to have a quick word with the soldiers, the employees, the friends of the Salvation Army in the Southern United States. I can imagine you're likely feeling concerned, perhaps even a little fearful in these present uncertain days. Now on one hand, worry is a natural human reaction when we face unusual circumstances like this current pandemic. But on the other hand, for those of us who have grounded our faith in Jesus Christ, we have another choice. Jesus invites us to cast our cares, our concerns, our worries on Him, that He might carry them for us. Now please don't hear me say that we should be careless in what we do, how we conduct ourselves, or the choices we make. No, we should follow all the precautions the experts and the state officials advise, but let's do it as people of faith, not as those who follow fear. You'll want to know that we have an active task force here at our territorial headquarters, keeping up to date on the very latest information and developments regarding COVID-19, so we can respond in ways that'll protect our soldiers, our workers, and our clients in order to support our service to our communities and enhance our overall mission. We're in touch with state and federal outlets and personnel who are helping to guide us in our response. As we navigate our way through these next weeks, maybe even months, I would encourage all of you to find comfort and strength in prayer. Remind yourself and those around you of who God is and how He has helped in the past. Focus on His strength, His character, His promise, His power. God can handle anything, including this situation, which now affects our communities and our world. I also ask that you join me in taking every opportunity to be the hands and feet of Christ within your neighborhoods. There's no better time than this to leave an indelible Christ-like mark on those around us. What a rich opportunity this is, friends. Let's seize it. Let's use this time to find new ways to carefully and prayerfully reach out and meet the unique needs around us in Jesus' name. As we're told in 1 Corinthians 16, stay alert, stand firm, show courage, be strong, and whatever you do, do it in love. I pray for God to bless you and to keep you and your family safe as you minister in His name to your community. Thanks so much.